Alright lads, welcome to a new video. Today we're having a look at the nine new formations that have been recently announced for FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. So let's have a look and go through them one by one. First up is the new 4231 wide version. Uh, this is what everyone's been waiting for. Finally, instead of using cams uh, with your 4231 which is pretty restrictive. You can either use the cams or you've had, you've had to convert strikers down to cams. We can finally use left mid and right mid, as you can see there in the picture. Also, we've now got a cam instead of a centre forward. The only slightly bad thing about this formation, there's seven links there to the cam, making it quite hard for it if you want to hybrid a team. Uh, this has been one of my favourite formations since Ultimate Team started. Uh, always used it. We just there's just so many restrictions though with with only being allowed to use a cam you've had to use cams or converted strikers down to cams finally we now can use the right and left mids now we can use the likes of Ronaldo Robin Ribery in the uh, four two three one also with the uh, the cam slightly further back from the centre forward, it'll allow the left and right mids to push forward more. It'll be like a, a proper 4-2-3-1. Four, four, where in uh, FIFA 13, the cams were really not much in the game. They were just hanging about there at the side in the middle, not doing much. Now, I'm get, I'm hoping this will be a lot more like the real 4 2 3 one We wingers bombing in, cutting in from the side. It'll be great. Next up, we've got a 4-4-2 variation. Uh, basically, it's pretty much a 4-4-2 formation with two CDMs instead of two CMs. Probably a bit more solid defensively, uh, which I think 4-4-2 was quite a solid formation if drastically underused in FIFA 13. You hardly ever come up against it. 4-4-2 has two banks of four. Now it's looking it's a bit of a variation of a four two two really. But the four two 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 with your two CDMs but with two left and right mid instead. Uh possibly a good formation, we'll give that a go and see that being quite popular now. Uh next up we've got the variation of a four one two one two. Now instead of the left and right mid We've got two centre midfields and a CDM and a cam at the diamond in the middle. Now to me this is basically what it's looked like it's done. It's a 4-3-1-2 really but with a holding midfield or a CDM and a cam. Looks very similar to a 4-3-1-2 so it uh, could be an interesting formation to try. Uh, next up we've got a new formation. We've got the 4-1-4-1. Which looks pretty good in in my opinion. It's like a four four one one, but now you've got a, a CDM instead of a centre forward, offering more defensive uh, options there. But you've got your left mid and right mid, more like an inverted four three three to be honest, with your left mids and right mids a bit further back. Uh, good for will be very good for wing play. This if you want to bomb down the wings and cross. It'll be an ideal formation to use a, a big target man up there as your striker. Get some good crosses in. I can see that dominating on the wings. That'll be good against the 3-5-2. Right, next up, we've got the variation of the 4-5-1. 4-5-1 being one of my favourite formations in Ultimate Team. On the graph, on the graphic there of the pitch, it does look like the centre midfields are quite high up, but I'm expecting them to be actually further back. Uh, it's more of a defensive 4-5-1 uh, version of a 4-5-1. Probably more solid in defence, less susceptible to counter-attacks. As that, that was quite a problem with the 4-5-1, I found it. Very attacking, awesome on attack, loads of overlapping runs. Uh, but <clears throat> depending on your CM, you need a good defensive CM. Or you will get counter-attack quite a lot. You need to be quite decent at defending to pull 4-5-1 off regularly. Uh, maybe a good one for high high work rates on your mid, mid your, your two midfielders that your wide midfielders. Uh, definitely be trying that one out. Next up is 
now we get on to the 4-3-3 variations. They've done quite a, few, a lot of variations of the 4-3-3 now. So I'm guessing that's uh, good news to a lot of people who love the 4-3-3. Uh, we've got 4-3-3 second version, which is the holding version. Which is great. It's basically just a standard 4-3-3, but now the centre CM is a holding midfielder, a CDM. Uh, good, good balance formation there. You can see that being popular. Just a pretty standard with a CDM. Now, next on, we've got the third version of the 4-3-3. Uh, this is the defensive version of a 4-3-3 with two holding midfields, two defence, two CDMs, one normal CDM. This will be a lot more solid defensively for people who struggle with the three-man midfield. Uh, I can see a lot of people going to try this one. The only negatives I can see is your attackers and your wingers might become very isolated. Because in not standard 4-3-3, in some games you, your attackers do get isolated. But with two CDMs now, if you play high, two high defensive CDMs, you might find your attackers... Especially playing if you're on a defensive tactic, will may become isolated at the top. But we'll see as time goes on. Next up, we're on to the uh, fourth variation of the 4 3 3. Now, this is the attacking version. This is the two CMs and the CR, the CAM, replacing the center CM. Now, this is a formation I've used before. It's very attacking, very good. You've got your CAM linking up now with your left wing, right wing and striker so the isolation problem will be gone there so you can have a good link up play uh, very attacking, I can see this causing a lot of problems to defence this time, it's like it's even if, if you get a high attacking cam, it's even as if you've got a centre forward and a striker with your two wingers up top uh, get two good uh, defensive CMs and you'll be sorted with that formation Next up is another variation of the 4-3-3. We've got the fifth form, fifth the uh, variation of it, which I'm going to predict now will be one of the most popular. It's the 4-3-3 false nine, which a lot of people wanted. Also popular with Barcelona. Now this is <clears throat> going to be good for possession play. Anyone who loves uh, tactical play, keeping the possession waiting, which is pretty similar to my style, so I will love giving this one a go. Uh, you've got your, your centre forward now, replacing your striker. Also, you've got a holding midfielder, which is good. So, your, your midfield triangle there is going to be keeping the possession all day in that midfield. It's going to be awesome. Plus, you've got the, the option to spray it out to your, your left wing and your right wing. For them to cut in, which you'll have your centre forward support in there on the edge of the box, and your two CMs. Possibly going to be a good formation for long shots. Uh, so there we go. There's the new nine new formations we've just had a look at in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. To wrap up, the top three I'm really looking forward to are the 4 2 3 1 wide version with the left mid and right mid, the 4 3 3. Option five, the holding midfield, uh, the holding, the false nine one, sorry, and also the four one four one. So hopefully, lads, these are nine new formations. Go and when it comes out, go and give them all a try. See which you like. Hopefully, with more and more formations now in Ultimate Team, it'll lead to a more variety of uh, opponents we come up against. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Foot Fourteen now. Uh, the finally bringing in a lot more options it's much needed features as it was getting a bit stale for me it was just the same thing over and over again it hasn't really changed since ultimate team 10 i mean foot nine was brilliant with the collection i know you could train your players up to 99 and everyone everyone had a 99 rated team but it was fun so if you've got this far please subscribe we're going to be doing a lot more fifa content going through a lot more details on FIFA 14 when it comes out we're going through we're going to go through all the formations to try and help you all the players play reviews squad builders everything like that I'm just getting back into FIFA 14 now been away for two years uh, coming back trying to do some videos so subscribe if you want some more FIFA 14 content if you enjoyed it if you found it helpful please leave a like it's always it always helps so thanks for watching cheers guys peace